What is up YouTube? Today we are going to paint this go-kart. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and I believe I finally am ready to paint this. Um, there was a couple things I wanted to do to this go-kart before I painted it. One of them was hooking up the front brakes. I could never find brake cables thick enough and long enough to so I could make it work. I could, I could never find them and I could probably make um, regular bicycle cable work but that may snap so I never wanted to try it and then have it snap and I'm like yeah it doesn't work so I just kinda waited was been looking around can't find any so you know the, br the back brake works fine I also wanted to replace the seat with a more realistic seat I'm tired of these uh, Walmart boat seats that uh, are pretty cheap I'm tired of them I wanted to get a real uh, go-kart seat I never did that actually is you know it's fine it's comfortable I guess so leave it for now I also wanted to uh, replace the steering wheel with a real padded steering not a car steering wheel just a go-kart steering wheel give it this uh, riding mower steering wheel and I also wanted to replace the gas tank with a beer keg not a full-size beer keg one of those thinner longer beer kegs you know because that would look really cool. Get rid of this stupid little thing with the redneck, you know, tied downs to hold it on. But, um, you know, all this, you know, this stuff can wait. I don't have to necessarily do it right now before I paint this. It can, I can always do it after. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna paint it now. You know, save all that stuff for later. If I have to, you know, go back and grind off some paint on the frame to weld on something and then repaint it, that's fine. It's not that big a deal. I've done it before, it looks fine. So, uh, now I'm not sure on which color I want to paint this. I know I want the secondary color, the col you know, the secondary being the, all the parts that come off of the go-kart. I, I want that to be black, but I'm not sure of the primary color. I'm thinking of either uh, neon green or red or orange or neon orange or I don't know I haven't decided yet I uh, I just posted uh, on Garage Amino on my account you know asking you guys what color I should do and uh, by the time I take this whole thing apart and grind all the rust off the frame I'll probably f know which uh, color I'm gonna be painting this so yeah not sure what color yet, but I'll figure that out later. So, uh, yeah, first thing, first things first is uh, just start taking this thing apart.
So yeah, pretty easy to, to take apart, you know? I really made this thing, you know, really easy to com tear this thing completely apart. No problem. It took me about, like, an hour and a half. And, uh, yeah. Pretty easy. Anyway, um, there's some things that I need to weld. There's some, like, spots where I forgot to weld it, and, uh, I also want to strengthen up some other spots. I also want to, uh, strengthen up where the seat goes. Add another bar right there, just so it's not, uh, not viable to break. Uh, other stuff, just, you know, random stuff. Also, grinding the paint, or grinding the rust off. All this, uh, all these, you know, you know welding ditty balls, whatever you want to call them. Grind those off. And, uh, grind the rust off. I'm not going to film it just because it's not that interesting. Welding and grinding, all that, you know, it's not really interesting. So, for the sake of the video, and for the sake of not boring you guys to death, I'm not going to film it. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks afterwards. Okay, so yeah, it's been like a day and a half of nothing but wire wheeling with an angle grinder, this entire frame, all that. All this stuff, I had to wire wheel all the rust off, and I also finished some things I wanted to make, which is, uh, one of them was a strap, or a tie, yeah, a tie down for the gas tank, so I made that. Oops. I also reinforced the steering column, because that wobbled a little bit, if you, you know, yanked on it, so I reinforced it with that. I also reinforced that down there with those little things hopefully that's uh will not be in the way of anything and uh yeah next thing to do is drag this thing outside hang it up in my shed and start painting i went to lowe's and i bought forty dollars worth of paint and i found that there they had paint and primer which is awesome because it saves me a lot in uh buying the paint and the primer separately so it also saves me time i just spray this stuff on and i'm good and then, uh, I know this is not all the paint I'm going to need. I'm probably going to need a lot more of the green. I decided to go with, uh, green. Hopefully, hopefully this will look okay. This is, like, the only lime green that they had. All, all the other colors they had were, like, you know, a lighter green or, like, baby green. I, I hated that color. So I decided to go with this. Hopefully it'll look cool. And, uh, once I'm done painting with this stuff, I'm going to buy more of this stuff. Crystal clear enamel and clear coat this whole thing so hopefully it won't scratch off easily. So uh, yeah, next thing to do is drag this thing outside and uh, start painting.
Strong enough. balancing itself. Not really. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it's uh working. Okay, um everything is hung up, ready to start painting. I'm not really gonna film me painting this stuff because this video is probably gonna be long enough as it is. But uh you know, I'll show you guys what it looks like after and during or stuff like that. I also had to cover up the lifted go-kart and the dirt bike because I really don't want to get paint on those. All this other stuff, I really don't care if it gets painted on. So, yeah, should be fun. Okay, so, um, yeah, I got the first coat on everything. I ended up buying six or uh, five cans of the green, five cans of the black. I only used a can and a half. On all the black spray paint, I used four cans on just the first coat on this thing. I have one can left, and I went to Lowe's looking for, you know, looking to buy more cans. They were out. So I went to Walmart. They didn't sell it. I went to Tractor Supply. They didn't sell it either. So it looks like Lowe's is the only place I can get this kind of spray paint where it's uh, paint in primer, Valspar, whatever this stuff is. Um, I really like this color. This this is a really nice color. It doesn't really look that what, that great on uh, the screen right now, but in person, wow, this is uh, this is gonna look awesome. Great color choice. But um, for now, I don't know what to do because I'm out. I have one can left, and that's only the first coat. Normally, I like to do like three or four coats on something like this, and then uh, two coats of. Uh, not primer, uh, two coats of the clear coat stuff, whatever that stuff is, but um, looks like I can't do that because this thing is so big that, you know, it's gonna, co it's gonna cost me a lot of money and I don't have that much money left from this month and uh, anyway, um, yeah, everything's a uh, first coat and I'm gonna end the video here just because this video is long enough and I really need to upload a video. I haven't uploaded in like a week and a half. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a nice day.